Today, I got a new Civivi to show you that I really think it's going to be a pretty big deal because this thing's got a secondary function that makes it an almost must carry. This is the Civivi Qubit. I'm Jay. Thanks for stopping by. Now, up on the screen are going to be some specs. They're all measurements I went ahead and took myself, but I'll also list them for you, you know, down in the description along with the links to buy and those coupon codes. All right, here's a few quick comparisons just so you can get a better idea of the true size of knife we're working with today. So here it is next to the Civivi Elementum, which, yeah, it's yeah, it's about the same size. And then, of course, we've got it next to the Benchmade bug out. I've actually had this one knife for a while now. And, you know, right when I took it out of the box, I kind of opened it. You know how you do it. You kind of open and close it a couple times. You cycle it, take her for a little test spin. And uh, it, I immediately, like, realized, man, this one is going to be huge. Now, check this out because I was shocked. Even though, yeah, the handles are going to be different, it's almost like having a, uh, like a button lock version of the Native 5, which, you know, is one of my favorite Spyderco knives. I mean, look at, look at those blades. Now the Qubit has a, uh, it's a 2.98 inch full flat ground drop point blade and it's going to be in 14C28N Sandvik steel. Great budget stuff. And you can see mine has the satin finish, but you can also get it in a, it comes in a black stone wash or there's even a, a Damascus version. And you know what? I can't believe that we have not seen this on like other knives because this bottle opener, I, I got to tell you, man, this thing works great now but just make sure that you know you kind of make sure you, you you hold that blade closed like with your fingers because if you don't that thing it could pop open that blade at the wrong time and man that would really ruin your day but how cool is that you go to a cookout man you're like some you see somebody struggling with the bottom you're like bro no i got you and you know what? There is one knife that I can think of that has the same type of bottle opener. And it's this little guy. This is the uh, Sanrenmu 7063, 7063, which just it's just a little uh, crossbar lock. But check this out. Yep. Same deal. Got the same bottle opener. And it coincidentally enough also has uh, it's got these like good looking aluminum scales, but you know what? I'll make sure and go ahead and put the uh, link down in the uh, description in case you want to pick one of these up. When you look at the blade, you know, you can tell right away that, you know, it's, it's pretty thin, but I did not realize how thin that it actually is. So I went ahead and I busted out my left-handed calipers and I got, uh, I got 2.3 millimeters, which is exactly the same blade stock thickness yeah, as this uh, Benchmade bug out. I sure wasn't expecting that. If you've been hanging around the channel for a while, you know you know I always appreciate you know a good forward finger choil. Now this one, while it is it's usable, uh, it is a little bit it's a little bit on the small side, so more of like a more like a fingertip choil. I mean I can't believe that I'm about to say this, but I think I would have it would have been maybe better off without that finger choil because of this you know with this handle design look at I mean your grip is already right up on that blade I mean is it really worth you know sacrificing that usable that little bit of usable sharpened edge you know just so you can choke up what like a half a millimeter closer Knowing me, though, you know, if there was if there was no finger choil I you know of course I'd probably be saying why didn't they put one in the 4.21 inch aluminum handle is going to be just the right length you can see for my medium sized hand. And what do you think about uh, this shade of blue that Civivi has been using lately? You know what? At first, I didn't I didn't think I would like it. But you know what? It's not bad. I think it's uh, yeah, it's grown on me. But hey, you know, if you're not really feeling it, no worries, because it also comes in either black, red or the green. The scales do have like a matte finish with a little bit, little bit of traction going on. So they're not completely slick, but uh, you know what? It, it could be better. I will say this compared to the uh, like notoriously slippery aluminum scales on this uh, cold steel code four. Uh, this this isn't as bad as that. On the flip side, though, you know, there is a benefit from scales with less traction. It's really easy getting this, you know, in and out of pocket. 
Yes, they did show us lefties some love by giving this a, a two-position deep carry pocket clip that you can see is, yeah, that's recessed into the scale and even attached with some flat screws. This did come to me perfectly centered without any uh, like blade or even any detent play. As usual from Civivi, you know, the fit and finish is very good. The button doesn't like rattle or anything, you know, when I tap on it, but there is, listen to this. There's like a, just a really like faint click, you know, when I, when I push it to go ahead and release that blade, which I've already noticed is starting to get quieter and come on, you know, what button lock out there doesn't have that little bit of a click when you push it. Now you're probably wondering about the, uh, well, the action. Well, it's a button lock. So yeah, it's good, but there is, there is something I need to show you really quick. When I first started fidgeting with this, the blade, it wasn't like drop and shut, you know, when I push the button. You can see, yeah, it kind of stops and then I got to like shake it closed, which, you know, you shouldn't have to do that with this type of a lock. Now, it, it took me a minute, you know, because I'm not the brightest guy out there, but I finally figured it out what I was, uh, I was doing wrong. I was pushing the button in too far. So if you do that, it just, see that? I push the button, the blade isn't even, okay, now it's moving once I give it a little bit of a shake. But if you press it halfway, look at that. That makes a huge difference. Now, since the uh, scales are just, yeah, they're like aluminum slabs without liners, this thing is like super light. And it weighs, get this, uh, just under an ounce per blade inch. So, hey, nice work, Zavivi. Now, if you like what you've seen so far, you can buy this on Amazon for right around $67, which I would gladly pay for one of these. I mean, it is, it's lightweight, it's thin, it looks good, it cuts good. I mean, it's fun to fidget. And, you know, if you lose it, hey, it's affordable to replace. And on top of all that, Come on, it's got a friggin' bottle opener. So right about now, there's a video up on the screen that I personally picked out for you to go ahead and watch next. And hey, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. If you're looking for knife reviews, they get right to the point. All right, hey, that's it. I got a split, but thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.